Cloud Build is a continuous integration, continuous deployment product from Google Cloud. It has several types of builders that you can use for running unit tests, building binary artifacts, Docker images, or uh, even updating deployments. In this video, we will use Cloud Build on a Dockerized project for building and pushing an image to container registry. And then in the second part, we will see how we can optimize the builds by reusing layers from previously built Docker images. For illustration purposes, we will use a project that consists of uh, just one Python file, but the same technique can be used in any other Dockerized project. All the source code, URL, and commands will be linked in the video description below. And if you want to support the channel, please like the video or consider subscribing. There are a lot of uh, Google Cloud videos already and more are coming up. Thank you. We are going to start by quickly writing our Python project. So what this project will do is that it will just write uh, 10 lines to stack driver logging in Google Cloud. So we'll add the requirements.txt file. In here we will have a google-cloud-logging dependency. We save the file. We can uh, create a virtual environment as well. Uh, yeah, based on uh, Python uh, 3.11. Uh, yeah, I just clicked this uh, create environment button that showed up in um, Visual Studio Code. We install the requirements from um, uh, the dependencies from requirements.txt. And uh, in the meanwhile, while they are installed, we can write our uh, main.py file. We add the uh, boilerplate if name equals uh, main. So we need to import logging configure it, uh, do the basic config for logging, level, logging info. And uh, now we just print the 10 lines. Let's say in range 10, logging info, we'll do line i. So now if we run it, we will see that uh, there are uh, 10 lines being printed. And uh, next we can um, dockerize our project. So we'll do a, we'll add a new file docker file. We need to start from an existing uh, Python image. So Python 3.11-slim. We set a working directory would work there. Let's call this app. Copy the requirements txt file to app. Then we need to install the dependency. So pip install dash requirements.txt. Then we need to copy the main.py file also to app. And then our entry point will be Python and uh, main.py. So now we can just in the terminal we can we can build our docker image make sure it works so we'll do docker build dash t for tag let's say uh, build dash uh, quick start and um, the current directory so dot okay very good if we do docker images we should see our image yeah build quick start that was just built uh, four seconds ago so now if we do docker run build dash uh, quick start we see that it outputs the same uh, lines that um, it, when that when we ran it locally uh, the next step is to switch our logging from uh, console logging to stack driver logging in google cloud so we for doing this uh, there's this page uh, Google Cloud Logging Python. I will link it in the video description. So we just need to set up the logging client from Google. Import this uh, line from here. And then instead of logging basic config, we need to 
we need do, to do the setup login from the login client. So we no longer need the basic config. These lines we don't need. And um, just like this. And um, yeah, I, I won't run it because it will send the log lines to, to Google Cloud, but we will see them later in the video once we build this project with the cloud build and then deploy it to Compute Engine. Now we will discuss how to submit our project to cloud build. So if we search for um, cloud uh, build builders, I will link it uh, below as well. So as I mentioned in the um, intro to this video, Google Cloud supports uh, different types of builders. The one that we will use is uh, this one, the Docker builder, which builds Docker images. Then we have uh, Gradle and Maven for for Java projects, we have Git for pooling um, code from Git repositories like GitHub. We have uh, JKE for deploying to Kubernetes. We have gCloud and so on. And also we are not limited just to these builders. Actually, any we can use any Docker image as a, as a builder. Here there's an example of using the Ubuntu image and um, also for every project that we want to submit to cloud build, we need to write this build config file. And the build configs can be written in either YAML or JSON, and they consist of a series of steps. So here's an example of a step. This step uses the Docker builder, and then it runs this Docker with uh, these uh, arguments right here. So build with a tag and then the current directory, which is the same command that we ran uh, on our Visual Studio Code local project to build our image. The, uh, and um, there are more example of steps. We can have more complex ones. So in this example here, the first in the first step, we build our image. Then in the second step, we push it to a Docker repository. And in the third step, it uh, creates a compute engine VM for from the image we just built. Also, in um, in build configs, we can specify what type of hardware the build um, needs to run on. So, for example, if we have a build that runs unit tests and there are lots of them, we might want to ask for more CPUs or more memory on the machine. For projects that uh, just uh, build an image and push it to container registry, which is our case, uh, Google Cloud doesn't require uh, for you to write a, an actual build config file. It will just assume that uh, you have a one step like here that does Docker build and then you specify the tag when you submit the build and then it pushes this image. However, if you wanna adjust the arguments, you will actually need to write a build config file. So further in the video, we will, uh, first we will submit a build without a config file. And then uh, when we optimize this build, we will actually write a, a small file. Now I will uh, create a new uh, project in uh, Google Cloud. So just go to console.cloud.google.com in here we will do a new project the name is not important there will be this id that is generated so we just uh, created and then we select this project and uh, we need to make sure we enable billing so just search in the bar for billing go to payments overview And uh, in here, I think uh, if we go to account management, in here, yeah, this one, Stellar Arcadia is the project we just created. So billing is enabled. Now we need to enable cloud build for our project. So we search for cloud build in the search bar. Let's see, select the project, uh, which one? This one, Stellar Arcadia, was the project we just created. Yeah, we need to click on Enable.
Okay, it was enabled, it took like, um, let's say a minute or so. Then we also need to enable container registry. So if we search for a container registry, Okay, this one seems to be enabled and also compute engine. So if we search for compute engine, yeah, we need to click enable as well. With compute engine enabled, we are now ready to submit our project to cloud build. So we will need this ID, our project ID that we can get from this drop down list in here. You need to copy this ID to clipboard so in here and uh, we go back to visual studio code so you will need to have this uh, g cloud sdk installed locally so i will start by switching my project in g cloud we'll do g cloud config set project and um, the project id from um, of, of our new google cloud project and now the command for doing uh, for submitting a build is uh, gcloud builds I i'm just going to write it don't execute it yet so it'll be gcloud build submit and then the tag that we want for for our um, for our docker image in container registry so it will be gcr.io then our project id and then our tag so it will be let's say builds quick start and then the current directory so actually, if you run it like this, what this command will do, it will just submit all the files in the current directory, uh, which is fine, but it will also submit the VE and V file, which actually we don't want. We want to exclude these files. We only want the Docker file, the main and requirements. And how we do this is by adding a file called uh, .gcloudignore. So in here we can add the binary files that we don't want submitted and test files and things that are not needed for our build. So in here we're just going to add the .venv, which is the path of our virtual directory. So we save this file and the name again uh, .gcloudignore. So now if we submit our build, it will say that creating a temporary file with four files so it will be this one docker file main and requirements um actually let's i'm going to kill it for now let's do a control c i forgot to add this argument that i usually do i at the end i do dash dash async so this one will just uh submit it and um yes And uh, it says the build was queued. And in here, if we go, if we search for a cloud builds, we will see our build um, that has been running for nine seconds. And if we click inside, we see what it, it's actually doing. So right now it's, install it's um, installing the dependencies from requirements. So it says the build has completed. So now if we if we look in container registry, container registry, we see our image right here that was built. And it says um, created just now. We can also test out uh, the image we just built. We can deploy it to Compute Engine. So in here in three dots, we do deploy to GCE, Google Compute Engine. And uh, yeah, from here, we'll just do a small instance. It doesn't matter. We're going to kill it in a few seconds anyway. We just want to make sure it works. And uh, in here in the container, I'm going to do restart policy never. Yeah, the problem is that our script will execute in, um, in within a few seconds. It will just print the 10 lines. And then once it's done, this 
a compute engine will run it again and again, and it will just uh, run forever. So I just changed the restart policy to never. And uh, yeah, everything else looks good. We can try it out. Okay, so I skipped ahead like about a minute, but now we can see our VM is uh, running. And uh, if we check the logs for for it, we just click here on logging. We will see the 10 lines that were just printed to Stackdriver. So yeah, everything uh, everything works well. We can We can actually, let's say, delete it. One problem with the implicit Docker builder in Google Cloud is that it doesn't reuse layers that from images we built previously. So if we take a look at our Docker image in here, like first we install the requirements, then we add the Python file on top and so on. So if we make a change to our Python file and if we rebuild the image, uh, the docker that will not like will not install the requirements again because the requirements are are the same so docker is intelligent in um, managing the layers and we can actually see it here like if we let's say we add a character here to beeline and in here if we do um docker build again for build quick start it it will say so here for like run pip install requirements it says using cache so it it saves actually a lot of time and a lot a lot of bandwidth however if we do the same thing in um, uh, google cloud builds we will notice that um, it it doesn't it doesn't use the cache so in here if we go to history with the build that we just started we can see here that it's already pulling the Python image again and it's installing all the requirements and so on, which is very time consuming. Of course, our project is relatively small, but if we have a lot of requirements, this is actually very inefficient. And um, this happens because for every, like locally we have our uh, Docker client, which looks at the images it already has and the layers and see what it can reuse. But Google Cloud Build, it starts every single time, it starts on a different machine. And uh, the workaround for this is to cache from a previous image. So in here, in um, if we scroll down there, they actually mention it in the uh, Google Cloud documentation. It says uh, best practices to speed up builds. I will link it as well uh, below. So it says using a cached Docker image. We will need to write actually um, a cloud build that uh, YAML file in our project. So we're going to start from this uh, starter code. Let's add a file in here, cloud build dot YAML. So in here, uh, we can see there are two steps. So in the first step, it downloads the latest version of uh, our current image. So let's see what uh, image name we, we use. It says uh, build quick start. So we need to adjust that file a little bit. Like that. Just replace image name everywhere with uh, builds quick start. So the first step, it pulls um, it, it pulls our latest image, or if if there is no latest image, so if this is the first time we run it, it, it will just uh, fail gracefully. And the second the second step, it just it runs uh, Docker build like uh, before, but also it adds this uh, additional argument that says cache from and uh, it it caches from the image we pulled at a previous step. 
And then the second section, this one, we if we have images specified in our uh, cloud build, it just pushes this image to container registry. So now in, in the terminal, we can start a new build. This time we, we need to remove this uh, dash T because uh, we no longer need to specify how our image is tagged because it, it's already specified in cloud build.yaml. So now if we just run it, now we see that it submits five files because uh, we added this uh, cloud build YAML file. So if we go back to build history, we see the um, build has just uh, started. So we see in here it pulls the latest image from a builds quick start. But after, after it pulled this image, so it says from Python 3.11 slim, it says already exist. Then uh, for all the subsequent steps, it says using cache, using cache for this one. For uh, more, the most important one is this one for run pip install. It, it also it says using cache, so it no longer needs to reinstall the dependencies and all. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. And if we take a look here, we, we see that it's shaved off a little bit of time. So the first two builds took like 32, 33 seconds. And the last one took uh, 26 seconds. Of course, like if we had a lot more dependencies, this time can actually drop a lot by, let's say, from four minutes to one minute and so on. And for bigger projects, it's it's a even bigger difference. That's it for today. There are more uh, Google Cloud videos that will show up on the screen if you want to continue watching. If you have any questions or if you run into issues, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.